Hi guys, welcome to the Doug Shoe Bushcraft Channel. Hi guys and welcome, thanks for joining us uh, today with my good friend Ken and a family member. We're up in the mountains of New Hampshire and it might be in the 30s tonight, probably not, probably the 40s. And it's not supposed to rain, but let's say the temperature does dip and it does rain. That's a real dangerous thing because it's not ice, it's not snow, so you get soaked and uh, that's how people die. So we're going to be trying to throw up a shelter real quick and I'll show you the process. So that's going to be part of our protection. We get some shingles off the birch tree. Yeah. And right here, flood, so we're not going to build anything here. We're thinking up on that little rise. Higher be rise. Good. We can uh, make a frame supported by some of those upright trees. Then forage in here for uh, poles and uh, bark. See what we can do. So this is the frame. Let's see how much we can get up in the time that we have. Yeah, be good and another thing is that I was really talking about is the COVID. <laughs> There's no COVID out here. <laughs> Something I'm proud to call home. <laughs> it's a palace. Well, it's a frame anyway. It's starting on the frame. The frame's up and we gathered a bunch of birch bark. So now we're layering it on the bottom and layers at the top. I put the shingles on the house. Really quick, nothing special. It's time to put the fireplace, get a fire going, put some gas. Well, everything's easy till you're on camera. Yeah. And plus, I have an audience now. Yeah. In person. But I'm going to try to start the fire with my axe. This is a cold steel trail hawk. And uh, should be able to take the handle off. That easy. Come on. Carved the handle out of a stick, that's why it's so primo. Plenty enough for them around to do. And this is a piece of chert that we just found in the river on the way here. Let's see if it'll make a spark. Not yet. There she goes. Not consistently. Okay, might work. So in the Altoids tin, we have delicious punk wood and uh, some charred fossil fungus and some char cloth. And there's wind, so it's blowing around. That's not ideal. Got a bird's nest, a tinder, and then some kindling. So let's see if we can throw a spark onto the punk wood or something.
Ooh, there goes some. I caught it. Was the char cloth? So it's a time limit, but I'll put that inside my bird's nest. So I'll close this to snuff the any embers. Close the tin. Snuff any embers. Snuff them. So it doesn't burn out all my punk wood and stuff. There you are. Oh, it's getting close. And that's how you build a fire. Yeah, with your axe. Which it lost its handle. Well, we can turn to an axe again. Yeah, that's easy enough to do. And Any by the way, I was doing it with an injury. I accidentally chopped my arm, so don't do that. It's not a good thing to do. Yeah, I'm having a tough day. Started out with a toothache, then uh, laid my arm wide open. Ken was good enough to loan me some duct tape and uh, good to go. Yeah, it seems like our winds, I think we've got it just about right. So it travels straight up. Good. Well, no, it's traveling all over the place. Come on, <laughs> don't make me a liar. <laughs> But that was the idea, kind of. With what? Was to make the wind so it went straight up in the air instead of out to the side and what have you. Yeah, where you position the fireplace, you mean? Yeah. So what are we cooking up? We cooking up. This is the corn. Corn is ready to go on the open fire, which cooks the corn inside and when it starts to char on the outside is when the corn is done on the inside and we'll have happy rejoicing that the corn will be cooked this is the native way to cook corn they've done it on the open fires for years and years and years I think it's a little bit time to do a some rotation here. There. I think this one is probably pretty close to being toasty. Why don't you take that one off then? Check them out. That's a little on the warm side. I'll leave it there for a second. Yep. This is the one that I think needs a little bit more cooking. Right there. So do you want me to be the guinea pig? Yeah. Okay. Feels like it could use just a little bit more. Extremely hot. <laughs> it's cooked. You might want to pull those other ones off too. But uh, anyhow, there's your results of the corn. Mmm. Definitely done. Oh, it's so sweet too. I see the stick for a second. I don't want to think this. Yeah, I think that's a little too warm to be picking up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to film me eating my delicious corn, so can we act right? No, no. acting... <laughs> no acting like Bart Simpson. No Bart's, huh? Oh, it's so sweet. What do you think? Yummy. Yummy. Good stuff in my tummy. You can have some corn. Okay. Ah, but 
There's something I want to do first. Tommy's happy. <laughs> well, we're all glad about that. to green leaves. Bagel cookery. <laughs> you didn't tell me you had Colby then. Colby Jack. Yeah. Uh oh. Now, when I think most people mention cheese to me, they're also talking about Americanized 
closeted? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I should have realized that, you know, you don't do stuff like that. No, I don't eat closeted. Five percent less fat. Then what are they replacing the fat with? More fat. Now, the stuff that we we're having before that was breakfast of champions. This is breakfast of the kings. Okay guys, so we're saying goodbye to our forest home. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with another video as soon as we can. God bless you. A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth that which is good. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Luke 6, 45 That's it for now. Thank you for joining me. If you like the video, I ask you to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, thumbs down. You know, it's just the way it is. Can't get something for free. I have to earn that thumbs up and comments. And I'd like to have you as, as a subscriber. Hang out more. But anyway, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you again soon.